Great CX is the ability to engage in real time. Think about the last time you used social media to engage a utility, for example, or maybe your phone company, or perhaps it was a retail outlet where you wanted to return a good that perhaps wasn't fit for purpose or you've just changed your mind. Where did you go for that customer service? Did you want to speak to a human being or were you satisfied by actually engaging with somebody at the other side of a keyboard or your smartphone? You see, customer CX is changing on the back of our behaviors. McKinsey has done some great work on this area and they have identified four key challenges to government and public sector stepping up when it comes to social CX. The first one being, they say that you have a monopolistic mindset. What does that mean? Well, it really means saying to citizens, there is no choice. You have to engage with us how we define it. And so that does not, as you can imagine, generate great customer satisfaction. The second point is that unlike private sector organizations, government agencies must aim to serve everyone. So with that mindset and approach, often you design social CX with everyone in mind and a one size fits all approach. Right now, personalization is king when it comes to great social CX. The third obstacle is the lack of capability, skills, manpower, and also technology, and really not leaning in and embracing the tech that is going to serve you well. And what the tech is going to do, and machine learning, a subset of artificial intelligence, is that that's going to be able to understand context, personalization at scale. So it can aggregate billions of data sets and still provide citizens with the information that they need. And then finally, the final obstacle to great social CX in government and public sector is the data. Data is currently probably sitting within your organization in silos. It's owned by individuals or specific departments and it's not shared. It is only when you begin the true sharing of data and then analyzing it at scale and then utilizing that for personalization and context and responsiveness that you can really step up and meet the private sector at the top of the social CX game.